Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to BVTV. We're day four of the Bowls Victorian State Champions Week here at Bendigo East. It's another cracking day, and we're down to semi-final stage of the mixed pairs. My name is Josh Thornton, and I'm joined in commentary by Bowls Victoria CEO, Tony Shell. Morning, JT. Morning, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoy the match we're about to bring you. Semi-final action, as JT says. Sandbelt up against Eastern Rangers. Sandbelt pairing needs no introduction. Kelly McCarran and Ellie Forsyth, representing Clayton Bowls Club. Their opponents today is Shampay Oram and Rodney Peterson, representing Glen Waverley Bowls Club. What will be a very interesting match in pretty much perfect conditions, JT. Nah, we've been blessed with the weather, weather guys this week so far, and uh, according to Greenkeeper Aaron Tonkins, and a big shout out to him and his team here at Bendigo East, he expects us to have good weather all week, which we've had, and uh, I hope he's right with his long term forecast. Pretty much T to T opening end, dictated by the Eastern Rangers pairing. Rodney Peterson's the coach at Glen Waverley Bowls Club. Shampay is the club singles champion for this year. Correct. Went pretty well in the region singles as well. Made the semi-final there, so look forward to seeing her play today. And a few club singles at Fairfield before joining Glen Waverley, I think I heard right, Tony. Yep, spot on. And as you said, Kelly and Ali don't need any introduction. No, there's not much they haven't won. Looks like Rod did decide to go with his Dreamline XG's tone. <laughs> he did. He'd roll up with an SRV and the Dreamline XG in the roll-up, which are entitled and allowed to do, and he's opted for his, uh, I guess, his Dandenong coloured, or Melbourne Pulse coloured yes. Dreamline XG. Mixed pairs, 15 ends. Two and walk. And uh, dead ends to be replayed. Ali just apologising for that. I'd be pretty happy with myself if I bowled something like that. And Ali's using his uh, XGs. We uh, we can never tell, though, Ali. We always <laughs> have to ask him because his XGs in his Tiger 2 is the exact same colour, nearly the exact same colour logo. Um, yeah. <laughs> You'd hate to think he mixes them up and plays with three and one one day, mm. which I know actually, could easily I've, happen. And I've told the story before about Brett Wilkie doing that at a UK tour back in 2013. <laughs> he had like three grooves and one quantum or something like that. And he couldn't work out while one ball kept ripping across <laughs> on him. And he got three quarters of the way through the singles match that um, he worked at. He had two different sets of bowls. So um, common sense prevailed. They didn't um, disqualify him. They no, just that's said, Listen, clearly that's an error. <laughs> you, uh, you, you just have to deal with the anomaly now. They didn't let him swap it out? Nope. Okay. He wasn't even at the club. He'd left it at home. Oh, right. So yeah. no choice anyway. Yeah. It was my understanding. Yep. So two and a walk pairs, as JT says. So effectively, we have players playing as a lead and a three. And skippers playing as a second as well. Means both players in the pair need to have all the shots. One would say it's the traditional pairs format. And that's what uh, state championships are all about. It's about finding the best players. There are no time limits. There are no shortened formats. Everything is about trying to find the best player. We use the format that's going to do that. We've got some singles action potentially later on today on the live stream. There'll certainly be some here at the venue if you want to come down. The other, we have the other semi-final going next door as well too, Tone. And uh, that is uh, being played against Benigo, Capacity, Goldfields and Gippsland. So... Uh, the local team has made it very deep, and I notice there's a few City of Chuka people popped in to our left this morning watching, and I'm sure they'll be also curious with the live scoring going on as well too. Yep. It's probably a quietest morning for the week, Tone. Only two matches and that's it. Two matches, very quiet start to the day, and that's okay. We'll build up a little bit later on. A bit of love in the comments for Rod Peterson, so... Plays a lot of events. You often see him at Vic Opens, Australian Opens. A lot of tournaments around the countryside. 
just missing by a whisk out. Wasn't far. Yeah, still hung around at the back too. Asking for a big sprint. Yeah, that won't finish in a bad home, that one. It'll probably take the direct line to the jack if that was ever an option. <laughs> you could hear Ali saying, big sprint, big sprint, and then woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted it to cover that centre line, as you said, J2. He's done well. Morning, Unch. Hope you're well, mate. Opening end here of 15 ends. B team will come in around seven or eight ends two tone today. Commentary we're talking about. Yeah, I imagine they're just having a bit of a lay in. We're having a good hard look at themselves. Oh. Rod still opted for a big weight there. Got the first bowl, short bowl, deviated off track. Yeah, but that's, we get that comment every now and again when people keep winning. And uh, some people are happy to be on the stream and others really aren't. So there's a range of things we balance up in uh, deciding who goes on the stream. I'm talking to Michelle Cunningham this morning, she was going to use a real, <laughs> real, <laughs> real yeah. excuse there to try and get out of being on the live stream. <laughs> Yeah, she was in the witness protection program. Place herself in the witness protection program. She really didn't want to be on live stream. But as we said to her, if you win her semi final, she will have no choice. But uh, she's got a bit of time to prepare for that. Good speed from Ali just needs another roll. The only thing about that, if flopping, off. if Rod wanted to play weight again, it's guaranteed going through the jack now, that lineup plant. He's playing a bit of weight. Searching More swingy weight. weight. See, I reckon this gives chances to Ali now to potentially play his backhand and sit in the white bowl. It's got to bring in yeah. six or seven. No danger though of doing that. No, no, no. If I hit the very front one. Oh, yes. And if I'm just around it, I land the white. Yep. Yep. And that is the ultimate prize. Moves it two feet, three yeah, feet down the line. They'll have seven. It's a bit of a free hit. Is it getting down? Mm, no, not quite. Needed the Tiger twos. <laughs> Morning, Paula Adams. Uh, don't work too hard, in inverted commas. <laughs> I didn't see the signal then. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. That's why it's good having Kelly and Ellie on the live stream. They'd let us know how many shots they get. Correct. And they'll stay out of the road of the cameras, and uh, all will be good. It's always the hardest thing to try and get work done when there's good quality streaming matches on. Watching bowls when you work for Bowls Victoria counts as work, does it not, Tone? Oh, it's like your idea of research the other night when you came here for a roll. <laughs> I can justify anything, Tone. Yeah, correct. Sell ice to Eskimos is what you could do. I have heard that as well. Probably have to feel for the Eastern Rangers pairing. Getting away with two there is probably not bad. No, uh, it's it's a bit of a kind of a end. win. Yeah. Might be just sort of wiping the sweat off the brow after that first end. If Ali landed that bowl, they would have been... Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It was serious trouble. Not that you can't come back from dropping a six or no. a seven, but it does make it hard from the outset. Lovely bowl from Kelly McGeeran. Good. 
Some players are finding the line relatively nicely here. To see Ali in pretty good shape physically at the moment too, JT. He really struggled at the Vic Open. He was using a yep. sort of assist post, if you like. But uh, he's told us he's been feeling good this week, so that'll make him feel a little bit better. A little touch on the jack. Mm hmm Just gets an edge off a front bowl. What's that to the jack, huh? uh, That's actually in for shot, JT, but it's very close. Mm. Gives Ali something to aim for. Awfully close, Tony. You could even split the gap and go through. Luke Lamont esque. <laughs> you don't remind that name to Ali. He's still no, got true, nightmares yeah. over that one. Yeah. Look at this one on the slow mo replay. Splitting the difference. Nearly Nicky Brett like. <laughs> <laughs> Needed a few more bowls around the head. Yeah, move it two inches for Flocker. Four. Yeah, it's a good call, and she does. Like he was really struggling with his back down at the Vic Open, but he played three games, I reckon, on Saturday it might have been. Yeah. And we said, "Oh, how you going?" And next morning turned up, and he goes, "No, I feel really good." I think we're all a little bit uh, surprised, thinking it might be a bit of a struggle to play three games in a day, but he was very up and about. So. Yeah, good bowl there by Kelly. They, the only thing the uh, Sandbolt team didn't have at that stage was a bowl behind the head, and now they've got a good, the best one. Shop, I think it's just a weight that's going to hurt her here. Otherwise, her line was pretty good to actually make some connection. Similar line, just on a speed again. Wow, that's probably rocked up uh, another second. Yep. She had a good sider with her prior bowl. And the line bang on, just needed a couple extra yards. The shopper rod's tough in that they don't have the backest. They've got the one probably uh, behind the head. But he has to get through two bowls to move the jack, so it's the timing of the weight to do that makes it trickier versus just trying to land one bowl on the jack. I reckon Ellie's going to try and slide in and, and split the difference. Try and beat the white. Still not the worst, being behind. As I said, Rod's got to play the exact weight if he wants that jack moving two, three feet and trying to get through two bowls at the same time. 
potentially overplay it and go shooting all the way back and you're already two down. Yep. Thing is, I don't think there's any other option because I don't think he's going to dead draw it either, based on the way the head is. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Bendigo Addy person's here taking photos, <laughs> just blocking our camera. A lovely shot of the back of his head. What's that angle looking like? Hey? The angle of Jack is it not hitting the white bowl? No. Okay. Uh, no, so just anything on that side. There you go. Just being told by a spectator. No tact in Brad's response then. No, now being told in no uncertain terms. Professional courtesy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all happening. I only got two games of bowls, but only a punch on between the, the SEN tech and the cameraman. I'd back our guy. Oh, look, have you seen him? Doesn't matter. Brad's angry. <laughs> I seen Brad do a push up yesterday. It was one, but. <laughs> to get through it? Oh, it was debatable whether he got back up or not. <laughs> oh, no. Very tough shot here for Rod. Ooh, looks a touch high at that space for me. I actually think, very similar to the first then. I think them being only one down mm. is actually not a bad result. Three nil, played two. 15 ends, JT, and two in a walk pairs. Gibbo giving you the thumbs up, JT. I'll see Gibbo next week. You will. Every chance you'll come up against him? Um, could do, yeah. <laughs> He's not in my single section, I know that. Right. I can't remember what my pair section is. A job for next week. Yep. Good luck to you, Gibbo, anyway. Awesome, mate. Kelly McEaran's been very good these yes. first early Absolutely. few ends. Leading. Kevin Jackson joins us from England. Lovely to have you joining us, Kev. Yeah, pretty good response from Sean Pay Oram. to know where Kevin is joining from England. Whereabouts, is it whereabouts yeah, in England? Yeah. Yep. Let us know, Kev. Oh, and Gibbo's just informed us his health's not good and he's had to withdraw from any guys. Oh, no. Sorry, Sorry to hear that, Gibbo. All the best, buddy. We'll miss you for sure. Well, you yeah, good bye-bye, Ali. Vince has joined us from Leppington, Sydney. He's one of our regulars. Thoughts go out to a couple of, uh, well, all the people of Sydney with a couple of awful incidents in the last few days. Yeah, it's terrible. Makes no sense. And Kevin is from Essex. <laughs> Made famous by a couple of reality shows. <laughs> Sure, that's not the reason they want to be known. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> yeah, lovely bowling. Does fatten the target though and gives. This green probably not crazy quick yet. Get a little bit quicker as the day uh, goes probably on. Probably 
between 14 and 15 this morning. And yep. probably by the end of this match, great bowl, Rod Peterson. And what a response. Oh, he's perhaps a touch unfortunate. Gets a little whisker on the jack. Could have either sat Kelly's bowl or taken Jack clean, but... Screen normally it's uh, characteristics. It'll be probably running 16 by the t end of this match. Yep. <laughs> Who's got shot here, JT? Is it there? It's close. It's close. Yeah. I don't think it matters. It's just a uh, yeah, long way to go. One Rod's got one in there, so he'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin asking oh. to send over some wonderful. Well, I tell you what, Kevin, I don't mean to rub it in, but. It has been just beautiful here the last, what have we been here, four or five days? Perfect autumn weather. Yep. Cool nights, but uh, absolutely gorgeous days, about 20, 21 degrees. Good sleeping conditions there, the yeah, cold nights. certainly are. Hardly any wind and uh, none of the rain to speak of, so should come out. Come out and pay us a visit. Love they, to see. They should be heading into their better time of the year, though. Yes, yeah, it's starting to get fun over there. It was this time two years ago I went to England for the trial at Birmingham and we had some good weather but we had some lousy weather too. I reckon there was one game where I played 15 ends in torrential rain. Yeah. Was that only two years ago? Yeah. You're only just getting yeah. to the yeah. bowl. We're trying to push the bowl yeah. out. Yeah. You sure? Got yeah. Out, got out April 2022. Wait to me. Four months out from the game or thereabouts? The roundabouts. Yeah. Oh, Rodney Peterson's bowl has just fallen. And Ali's just paused Kelly almost mid delivery and just said, Hold on. Uh, not there. Oh, no, we don't want the jack going that way. No, sorry, same, same idea. Okay. You down there? Uh, I like you down. Uh, Ali, not sure. Look, it's close for short. And uh, good advice to Kelly play it like you're down. Getting back to uh, England, that uh, Lamington Spa was a beautiful little town too, Tone. Mm -hmm. It was magic. And a bowling club that had five greens, but they were all in a row. <laughs> it's where they play their nationals, I think, yes, isn't it? Yes, correct. Memory, yep. Did quite a bit of research on that back when I was with BA. There was a pub just across the road. <laughs> How do I know about that? Well, I'm just thinking, what else would you need in life? You've got <laughs> your five green bowling club and a pub. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Except the uh, 15 inches of torrential rain. <laughs> and keep that. Oh, right. Let's score update on the uh, other mixed pair semi-final, the next rink across, or two rinks across. The the locals, the the Echuca pairing from Bendigo Kempaspi Goldfields has got off to a flyer, 5-0 after two ends. It's the Gippsland team. Morning, Joe. Another one of our regular viewers tuning in from Cairns, and it's raining up there too. Bet yeah. it's not cold, though. No, no, it'd be very warm rain up there. Hey, I think he's drawn shot. I think it's good enough. So just a reminder for those at home, if you haven't yet got your entries in for either the Novice, which is the uh, competition for bowlers who have been bowling for less than three years, uh, they will close this weekend, I think, entries for the Novice. So jump on to the Bowls Victoria website. Jimmy was saying this morning he reckons the men's Novice is up to nearly 200 now. It is out of control. It's it's bigger than what we uh, expected. Anticipated. And uh, we've had to throw another club in, but that's OK. We might have thrown another two in in the end, so going very well. And for those who are eligible in the over-60s category, the over-60s carnival entries will close in another week or two for that. So get those in. That's also going gangbusters. Being played up at Club Barham and uh, several other clubs up in the area. In the Northern District? Yep. Part of the Murray Mellie Bowls region. Beautiful part of the world in May. 
Designed to capture everyone and their caravans on their way up north for the winter. Oh, I was going to say road's close, but it's just whipping away now. Plenty of caravan parking up there, so if you do want to take a detour along there, win yourself some prize money along the way. Again, head to the Bowls Victoria website, www.bowlsvic.org.au. And we cannot wait to see you there. That's the wide side. <laughs> it's getting down. No problems. Oh, Ali's <laughs> okay. judgment from about a quarter of the way into that trip said highly doubtful that's up. Two and a bit foot short. Doesn't have to change too much from his last bowl, does he, JT? No, uh, I reckon he'd be playing something similar. The only thing is, there's one little bit of danger. If he somehow sp split the gap between Ellie and the Jack and then happened to rock his own out, he would go a few down. Hold it. I hope I didn't moss him then. Oh, <laughs> oh no. That is very stiff. Exactly as you called, JT. I just thought that was the only danger that was there. It's three out, four out, five out. Just checking this last one. Kelly's keen to put a tape on it. She's confident six. Yeah. Rod Peterson, very stiff. Yeah. He only has to get a mil more of the jack and it's going back it but is it's a not a cruel cruel game sometimes a 6 to Kelly McCurran and Alec Forsyth they now lead a 9 zip after 3 ends and as we said 5 zip after 2 ends for the Bendigo Kempaspi Goldfields pairing up against Gippsland Gail from Sale on the mat over there What? Oh, yeah, you're basically a bowl in front. I'd be adding two feet. I've never had that analogy with reference to bowls before from the Middle Park Sharks. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. <laughs> oh, but I do get it. I never want to be the bug. I wouldn't say it's over Craig Killier, but it's 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 gonna be tough from here now. Oh, 
I miss Ellie's Tiger twos. I love seeing him whip at 100 miles an hour sideways. Yeah, he's good. We're talking about this the other day on the stream, I'd like to see bowls wound back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, in the comparisons to golf, where they need to wind back drivers and balls. Oh dear, JT's in charge of the cameras now, people. Yeah, that's no good. I'm a typical male, cannot multitask. Oh, you did well so far. I hate the pressure. Just be the, be the windshield, not the bug. <laughs> I was going to say, if I had control of the camera, I'd just put it up myself. <laughs> Oop, hang on, there we go. <laughs> Rodney Peterson on the mat now. I'm on fire. Big bowl next door. Skipper of the Gippsland rink was a few down and dragged the jack straight back. <coughs> Still has opposition skipper has one bowl to come, but unfortunately for him, he's got to draw within a foot and a half. And what is telling about that one? He, the jack's in the pit, uh, and he's moved it from probably halfway down the rink. So it's not like it was close to mm. the edge of the ditch, and he still manages to sit a foot eight inches away. <laughs> That's timing at its best. Yeah. Hang on, better change your head. He's talking to. See, I can't multitask. Was when you started to talk. That was the problem. Yeah, nice bowl, Kelly McCarran. In good form. Thank God Brad's back. Champagne looking to draw in here. Speed doesn't seem far away. Mm. That helps a little bit too. Yep. Um, yeah, Kevin, the, we're probably quite lucky in this part of the world with the playing surfaces. Probably anywhere north of the Great Divide of Victoria have amazing tiff dwarf greens, majority throughout the state. You get anywhere along the Murray, you usually get really good greens as well, so... Um, these are up there with the best of them, that's for sure. And credit to all the green keepers, whether they're volunteer or paid, they do a marvellous job. I think it's almost the first thing everyone says when they come to state champs for the first time. They just remark on the quality of the greens here at East Pendigo. Close here from Rob Peterson. If he's inside Champagne, he's going to go awfully close for shot. Down with that. Well, or up if you're in the context of Rod and Champagne. Yeah, 
shouldn't be able to get to your bowl. Well, I think it kennel. goes under it. Kennel. Huh? I think if you get his, it yeah. goes under. I think ours is protected. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love the way he's thinking through that, and obviously his man is experienced and accomplishes him. He thinks through the scenarios about what's worst case scenario, where's the jack going to go if he gets it wrong. So it looks a bit higher, I thought, but yeah. only marginally, but enough for it not to come in. And uh, Champagne and Rod Pedersen finally on the scoreboard. One to them. It's 9-1 after four ends. Gippsland getting on the board next door to J2. Not sure whether they picked up a one or a two, but when they update the board, we'll update the live scores. They were measuring for two, I know that. Yep. Rangers controlled them at length. They've gone it's back to the long end like similar. they did at the start of the match. Yep. So that was their initial, obviously, game plan prior to the match. Spot on in, just another brilliant day at Bendigo. Exactly as we ordered. Kelly will be looking for a couple feet on her last. She's played very well so far during the start of this match. She doesn't look far away again. Speed is awesome. Yep. And shot. <laughs> Having a few giggles this morning, Mally and Kelly. <laughs> we, we do sometimes call this format divorce pairs. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that they're having a giggle is a good start. Yep. I want to say having a giggle. Yeah, you know, they're just relaxed. Dude. Yes, yeah. I don't think I'll play mixed pairs with Kelly anytime soon. Don't. I don't think that's your choice, mate. She will never play with you again. <laughs> yeah, lovely bowl, Rodney Peterson. And I'm not talking about Kelly McKeeran either. <laughs> no, no, you're better half. <laughs> I know you knew who you were referring to. And uh, yeah, she's. No way in the world does she want to play bowls with you in mixed pairs. Have you ever actually had a roll with her? 
Yeah, actually, I am. Um, you know, the Heathcote uh, M and D charity day that me and you frequented a couple of times. I've obviously been there f- even more than that, and uh, she was my uh, one of my teammates one day. All right. How'd she go? Not bad for someone who doesn't really play. We'll get her across one day. She finishes playing tennis. And, uh, netball? Yeah. She's still playing netball no, or no, just tennis? No, netball. Just a bit of tennis. Yep. We'll get her one day. I don't know about that. Ellie. Ellie's awfully close to Rod's. Second shot. Yeah, definitely second shot. Oh, 21 ends at walking pairs. Right the day off. <laughs> that is a long game. We actually used to be 18 ends here, Joe, until a year or so ago. Yeah. It's just too long of a day, and uh, players particularly playing two games of it times three. 15 still, 15 ends still goes for a good three hours. Yeah, Kaz, uh, I think Brad knows what he's talking about. Good. Love the way. Very good home, Cal. Tracks in here. Please, <coughs> two foot. Make a reasonable pairing, him and Tay. They've won the uh, singles titles together here in the Bendigo Campaspe Goldfields region. We went to the presentation night last night, JT. Yeah, it was a well run night at uh, Bendigo Bowls Club. I, uh, wouldn't that, that wouldn't happen very often, would it? Uh, a, a partnership, no, e.g., whether you're so. married or not, you know, but uh, yeah, well, both partners winning the champ and champs in a region. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of, there's probably another handy couple in this area that could potentially do it, and Kev Anderson and Cass, Cass Millerick. Millerick. Yep. Yep. Um, Kelly and Ellie could potentially Two do it. Rink, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Outside that, I'm, I'm probably, yeah, we might be stuck for it anymore that could potentially do it. It's a great part of our sport, you know. Brothers play with each other, brothers and sisters, mum and dads with their kids. We saw a couple of mother and son pairings yesterday, Susie and Harry Coleman, Jody Fruin and Ethan Fruin. Correct. So we're in the mixed pairs, so you can't get divorced when it's your mother. <laughs> you can get locked in your bedroom, though. Yeah, Granted. True. <laughs> Particularly when you're Harry and you're only 13. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, Ethan may not uh, suffer that fate. Needs to be around that Not bowl, which away. he's awfully close. He just doesn't want to move it too far, which he hasn't. Uh, very good bowl, Rob Peterson. Yep. I expect some weight here from Ali. I reckon they can both go. And if he does hit it, it should kill versus going back. <laughs> Hang on, he's the divorce. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> Everything was all in good nature before now. <laughs> Kelly just seen this slightly different to Kelly. Playing a forehand run up. It's wide. Kelly saying, well, you can play whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Which you probably could from <laughs> the way this lines up. And let's face it, the way he runs, he can do anything. He's got one of the best runners in the game. Kelly's got a reasonable runner too. Brad, no one wants your bowl skills uh, tuition, that's for sure. You just stick to the cameras, mate. <laughs> and, the com- and the panel and the controls and everything else. Produces a wonderful show, does our Brad. 
We're very fortunate to have him. Even throws in little jabs in the Facebook comments every he now and then too. That was a ripper yesterday. <laughs> what was that kangaroo? Had something hanging off the back of it. <laughs> hey, well, this is another good effort from Rodney Peterson. It's just going to be a touch short, I believe. I still think it's on this shot. It just may it blocks up. May not be forehand. Uh, it could be still forehand, but it could be either way. She Kelly's checking what's f fourth shot between the pink bowl and Rudd's last bowl. Definitely only two down still with Ellie's bowl fudge. Ellie just saying it's not like I can draw. It is blocked up. And it's only one more too. Yeah. And he'd be st if he actually got to his own bowl, I'd argue that if he would screw back nearly towards the bowls anyway. Yep. Wide again. Oh, no. Two it is. So two consecutive ends. Eastern Rangers pairing. 9-3 now. And they're slowly edging their way back into the game. The score next door is 6-2 lead to Bendio Campaspe Goldfields over Gippsland. And they've played four ends. I saw that comment. I didn't see Winch's comment yeah. just now. <laughs> Kelly certainly wasn't saying play whatever you want in a bad way. She was saying, you, you know, you've literally got either option. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was just my warp sense of humour. If I did play mixed pairs with my Kelly, I don't think I'd just, I'd just play the way I'd play anyway and she'd just have to be down the other end and cop it. Oh, so she'd be like any other of your teammates then. <laughs> It's not like I'm a dictator or anything like that. Mm. Part of that word's correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's quick for you too, Tone. You're welcome. Yep. Morning, Brendan. Hope you're well. Another one of our regular viewers. <laughs> Kelly's played a good one already and just looking to add to it, which she's not far away. Morning, Michael. Hope you're well. <laughs> We've got all the weirdos on the stream this morning. <laughs> and that's only dictated to one person who just commented then. Morning, Jordan. I like to comment, mate. Keep them coming. In the AFL, they have like mark of the day and all that. I reckon we should have comment of the day. Ronnie oh, Peterson's Peterson. going to guts the jack. He just slices it slightly. Still be one. Yeah, but it's straight back to where Sean Pay's bowl is. You can't see Sean Pay's bowl because it's hi hiding behind the, <laughs> the, the, the rink number. <laughs> but it is there. It's <laughs> Actually, literally you might be, you obscured might, by the rink number. Morning, Vivian. Hope you're well. Yeah, I reckon you can just see yeah, a just little feather. <laughs> top of it. If Brad was any good as a technician, he'd be able to somehow get that bowl too, you know. He'd have a remote control. Oh, oh Ali. what a bowl from Ali Forsyth. There we go, see? Right oh, behind that number six. Rod's going on early, I reckon. Oh, he's asked for not the white. No, it's under the white, so...
Morning, Jeff. Hope you're well. Yes, another day in paradise is a great call. Score next door, Tone. Gippsland got two on that third end, and then BCG replied back with another one. Yep, a 6 2. I was going to say, not far away there. Track good. <laughs> Let's answer the first question that I saw, which was around Kevin prefers his fours format of four bowls than four bowls. I will probably strongly disagree with that one. I think it's one of the most boring and mundane games of pairs I've ever seen, that one. Anyway, it begged to differ, and everyone has different opinions. That's cool. Um, Sean Cadoff. Uh, did JT have dreams of playing being Steve Irwin with his knowledge of Australian animals? Well, I did used to work with Steve, uh, Sean, and that's how I lost all my fingers. Crocodile got him. That's what I used to tell everybody when I lived in England anyway. As long as telling you you're a helicopter pilot. Oh, that one as well. Oh, goodness me. And then weren't you a uh, scuba diver or something? No, or no, no. Sea, I, I, was, I, I, was, dolphin I, I was flying the scientists out to the Barrier Reef so they could test the coral as a helicopter pilot. Oh, I was quite genius. Oh, great oh, ball. It into could have made four or five here, Tone. That is a lovely ball from Kelly. I thought it was just missing on the yeah, right side, but again, gets the edge of, and it's enough to the, rock it into the ditch. The rink number was hiding at that bowl. We couldn't exactly see where it was. Yeah, well played. That four bowls and four bowls format would be very a very skip orientated game, and I would think it would be predominantly won by that end, whereas the two and walk enables all bowlers to really contribute to the game. This is not too far he away. Needs to clear. clear the front. Just going to slow up. It's probably four still, Tone. Yep, agree. All in early speedy now. He's just got to sort of get past Kelly's pink poles to count, which it will. Good enough. <laughs> you know, I just saying they play a lot of three bowl pairs in New Zealand, which we do for a lot of our formats, but not here at State Champs. I like 2 4 2 as a practice format, e.g., you know, you're playing a bit of practice, you know, leading up to pennant. And actually, can train some of your new and yep. inexperienced bowlers in 2 4 2 because you get a, a mixture of playing every spot then as well. Used to be the format of choice back in my early days at Car RSL. It used to be you know, everyone played two four two, and everyone was getting some really good experience. Oh, Rod's got a pass. His weight's much better. Well, that helps a lot. A second shot. Well, he's going to run at that ball. It's holding it's out five. That's definitely worth the risk. Even if he got inside edge of the bowl, he's. Probably getting it across to the jack and jack into the pit. Gets it out clean. It's worth five, I reckon. Maybe six. What sort of speed does he go with, JT? Well, he's got enough to be able to swing around that first bowl, too, that's sort of lined up with it. He only has to move it into the pit by two feet, so maybe a yard of weight. Got a hook now. The speed was awesome. That would have been enough. 
They'll still pick up a single. Stops the run. Little run, mini run. 10-3. Played six cents. JT, I'll uh, tag out for the one and only Sammy Rogers. No worries. I'll do a couple ends of Sammy. Enjoy the rest of the call. No worries, Tone. Welcome, Sam. I am. Joshi. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> That's the most amount of energy, energy I've seen from you in about four days. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, the stroppy teenager you Let's are. Let's do it. I'm feeling like there's going to be an eight this end. <laughs> it's been a highly entertaining game, this. It, it would appear it's one-sided. Um, and, you know, Rod very stiff there a couple of ends ago. He tried to turn the joke around the corner and... Thinned it and got his own out and went drops five, five, six, my apologies. And uh, that's the only, really the difference in the game, you know, so. And, the, and then on the flip side, there's probably a couple shots earlier that Sandbelt could have got, which would have even been bigger margin as well too, so. You probably haven't been watching. You've probably been pretending to work watch, inside. Watch nothing. That's the plan. As long as it looks like it. And that's all that matters. You know that. <laughs> you just can come in and talk. <laughs> uh, you haven't learnt well yet, Sam. That's all right, mate. Haven't hung out with you enough. Where's your boss? He's going to have to jump in soon. Do something. Also pretending to work, I think. <laughs> well uh, he's talking to the locals. I don't know if they're like or not. I've got no idea. <laughs> Great bowl by Champagne. Ali definitely unhappy about that one. Good bowl rod. Sits that. Another cracking day here in Bendigo, Sam. Hasn't let us down all week, really. No. It's been spot on. The weather goes. No wind to speak of as well. No, we haven't had any big winds either, have we? Just a slight breeze here and there. Pink's enough. It's a good shot. Oh, at least a couple. Morning, Wilson. Joining us from, I wouldn't Goldie. say sunny Gold Coast, because I know Kansas is raining it up there at the moment. So I'm, I don't know what the weather's doing in the Goldie, but beautiful part of the world. Lovely line. Just got to get there, Sammy. Probably a foot away. Going to miss the front. 
Steph, probably still one to ride in Champagne. Oh, I know. No, I uh, spoke yeah. too soon. Are you still there, though? Eighty minutes is away. You get to that. Fall down. You're in. Remind me that pass the track. That one. This one, yes. Yeah, Fall pass. Yeah. Still be positive to this. Get back to. Hurry, Cal. On second shot. Yep, and it's close. Good year, just needs to run. There you are. It's there now. Did you complain? Wait to hear, split him. Rod. Just played himself right in the way of the camera. A little slide. Oh, oh just one way to get the shot. <laughs> A little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit sneaky. Definitely one. No celebration, though, which I can handle. I would have celebrated. If you did? Or from you or the opposition? Both. <laughs> or celebrated internally. That is purely a liar. That is definitely <laughs> a liar. Yeah. Everyone does it. If yeah. you say you don't, you're a liar. Yeah. You can do... You can be doing cartwheels inside your mind. And right. <laughs> just don't. Outwardly. Yeah. <laughs> or you feel the wrath. Leave the backhand alone here. Nothing to gain from playing there now. No, well, it's... A, I'm not saying it's a hard shot, but it's... For, make them play that shot. Yeah, I reckon you're right, Sean. Jimmy would have probably celebrated and jumped up and down like a weirdo. <laughs> I don't think he's under the bank. He's around it. Oh, Probably a front. Clears it, clears it out of the road now. Man, can just get a touch of the jack. Yeah, if he can get the jack down the line, foot, two foot now. Yeah, he'll probably keep all of his speed, try and change something up. Well, his last bowl this end. Have to be closer, here, surely. He's just got to get to Kelly's bowl and rock it over a couple times. One, two, very good. But it does present an opportunity for Roddy. He moves a jack one to two feet around the corner. He will make five or six. And when you're 10 3 down, it would be amazing at this stage of the game. Yeah, you see him. Here and there, he's not interested in drawing a jack. Oh, he wants <laughs> a piece of the jack around the corner. <laughs> exactly. And if anything, you can play it tighter. That way, if you happen to be a little bit too tight, you get to the pink bowl and flop in still. Just gonna play the same bowl. Don't think he's getting down, is he? No, the pace was good. Yeah, the pace was good. He nearly could have played the same bowl. <sighs> it's one to Ali and Kelly. Touch high up. Scores now, 11 3. And we played seven ends.
Yeah, we saw it last night, back in, back in this direction towards the clubhouse. Kelly yeah. McCarran was all over it. Oh, she's led very well this game, Sam. Probably the difference in the match is Kelly's leading and putting Champagne and Rod under pressure. Pretty good again. When you are a World Bowls silver medalist, you, you can probably draw pretty good, I would have thought, you know, and Kelly's proven that this morning. Oh, but don't beat Josh you too bad. BCG eight, Gippsland three. We've played six ends. Can try and clean this one up. Get there, Jack down the line or around the corner is good. He's a lot closer. Just to hurry back to the line. Thought he was getting there then. You gonna Rod change hands here or play underneath to try and? Oh, I think the, the forehand's a shot now. Yep. You can afford to just reach, sit the balls. Bit of Jack movement's not bad too. Just thinned it a little bit. Mm, not a bad attempt. So play confident, Kelly, the back end. Absolutely. So couple. Yep. Back to Rods. Try and take that past. shot away from him. Or cover if you miss high. Not far away. Should probably get to her own and flop it and change the shape of the angles. Oh, yes, there you go. Play the right way to get back. It's still there. I mean, if you get that, good. Get that one. You'll come back to the deck anyway. but just overplayed it a smidge. Yeah, stays on. Stays on, which is still the, the bonus part out of the miss. I think you're playing the same way. A couple of bowls higher. You try to sit that. If you get past it, you're good. Yeah, you sort of look to stay away from it now, try and cover anything. Well, it's much better shape now than what it was from the bowl before that Kelly changed up, so leave the head that way. As he said, sit the bowl. If you miss, you get to a good home. The other options, if you have it to be tight, you turn Ellie's over a couple of times too. Just high, but it's going to finish in a good home. Back is bowl. You can see that ends up matching. What was at the back? Reckon same speed, you reckon fraction less. 
Well, Fractionless is going to get the bowl onto the jack, back to where Rod's bowls are. Where you keep that weight, it's probably going to go past him. The other option is just going big and banging him and getting out of the way. Yeah, play less weight. Just fractionally height. Turns the other one down. At least a couple. Enough track to get where he wants to. Split those two. Superb. Wants to get down a little bit more. Very handy. Yeah, a little bit unlucky not to probably, get on the inside probably, of it. Yeah, he definitely would have wanted the inside. Just hold on a little bit more, JT. You're just missing. Ball drops into the ditch. You've got to get back to the draw here and try and throw another one in. Pretty three, maybe even four. Mm, probably just drop this one, I think. Oh, it's done something a little bit funny on the last little bit. Goes to fall out. Don't know. Not far away. Still with Rod 1 to come. Last ball of the end. Needs to come up with something to at least reduce the count. He's not far away. Rod he wants needs, to split. Just needs the right result, he wants to JT. Split. Oh. How far is it going to run? Definitely takes one out. Kelly's looking for a couple chocks. Very experienced, knew what was uh, at stake, so I went and grabbed the chocks pretty early. Funny enough, Ali's already put, well, somebody's already put two over. <laughs> so I'm confident <laughs> that it's two. He wasn't even down this end, was he? I don't know who did, whether it was Rod right or single. Ali. Signal. Yeah, it might have been Rod. Right. So, yeah. one out. Be anywhere between one and three or four. <laughs> what? One or three or four. So not two then. <laughs> no, anywhere between <laughs> one and three oh, yeah. or four. Whatever, mate. I hope it's two. I hope it's one or three or four. <laughs> it's a long measure. <laughs> Almost as long as Rod's quarter final game last night. Yeah. 
umpire. <laughs> That's the next step. Three. three. Yes, not two. Oh, get in. Hey, Rod, he's barricaded for three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Rod loves me. It's okay. 14 3. We played eight. <laughs> who are you waving to? You didn't even know who that was. The great Jeff Sutcliffe. You, mate, you need to learn up a little bit at Lawn Bowls if you don't know who Jeff Sutcliffe nah, is. Well, not many of the viewers know either, so fill us in. Wanna, you know who Jeff Sutcliffe played for Australia? Oh, yeah. What, Golden so Nugget you, winner? If you want a Golden Nugget. I can't. Well, I can, but I can't. I haven't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mate. Yeah, your time will come. One of the greatest time. touring bowlers, Jeff Sutcliffe. Shout out to Jeff. We should get him in commentary. You just need a little bit more education. See? Naomi Cartwright, Johnny Stokes. Look, people know, mate. Yeah, that's two people out of 238 on Facebook. Oh, well, not everyone's typing. You know, they don't like to do that. They just watch. There we go. Nev Brown. See, they're all. They all know. Sam, you're just a young whippersnapper. Another great start from Kelly McKeeran. <laughs> this is good leading, Josh. <laughs> Where's our mate Jim? He was going to come tag me in after eight ends. Nah, he got distracted. <laughs> Probably talking to Jeff Sutcliffe. <laughs> what? You're an idiot, mate. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You know, Jim might be doing. He might still be chatting to Raki Ewing. That conversation's continued from yesterday oh. evening. <laughs> Look, we don't need to let the viewers know what they were talking about, but it was just ridiculousness. We were going from both around in circles for a good couple of hours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is good oh. lawn bowling. I went to bed. I was that just <laughs> bored of their conversation. This is a very good stuff from Kelly and Ali. Yeah, no, they've been really well polished in this match so far, Sam. Chance here to be fair, just needs the right contact. Great bowl, Rod well Peterson. Brilliant stuff. Oh, here he comes. He was due. Stewie! Stewie! Yeah, good home there by Ali. They had nothing directly behind, so it gives them something to work with. And yo, I'm going to tag out. See ya. Nice knowing you, Sam. See you later on the Sabo. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just nah. Uh. Been talking to Jay. I reckon have you? Yeah. Shots. Not sure if they were down anyway. They are. Now gets me a couple of seconds, a couple of bowls in the area.
Morning, Samuel. Hello there. Welcome. Wagwan. <laughs> Wagwan. <laughs> Shot. This is some good lawn bowling from the last couple of ends I've seen. Yeah, I've uh, been, uh, locked in here. Been watching from the side, and they look in imperious form, ominous form to Kelly and Ali. Where are we going here? Needs the right contact inside edge. Oh, just replaces Rod's bowl. They've been close, eh? Past. They have been. Just can't quite get it to work for them. Did you know that Jeff Sutcliffe is in the building this morning? Oh, I saw him yesterday. Oh. I haven't seen him today, though. But obviously he's here. Just walked in. Great bloke. Great player. And the pleasure of playing him at the uh, Moama Prestige Pairs back in October. He beat us. Although, I reckon I outled him. It'll be hard. I oh, outled him. Wow. Yeah. So you're saying the blame is on? Matthew along. Now Luke Spargo just jamming in results. How are we going Quicker. here? Oh, oh, no same pack again. of bowls. <laughs> Another stunning day here at Bendigo East. Uh, he was stick on this backhand, trying to kill his last one. Rod gets his own front through the jack. You'd think that's where it's going. Sort of got both sides of the head pretty well protected here. Might have added a second in here, Jim. This is pretty good stuff. Doesn't want to tip it anywhere. Oh. Mate. <laughs> what a shot. He was... um. He'd scratchy in the first game yesterday, Ali sort of was up yeah, a bit. He said of, he was as well. Yeah, he was he was having a battle. Um just himself. He said the green was great over on B Green, he just couldn't sort of get it going and obviously played okay in the stream game last night. Um to come back from being out of it to get over Sammy Atkinson and Ben Hubbard, him and Kelly and you know, the pair of them got it on a string this morning. The other games Teetering along at a pace akin to a tortoise. <laughs> Six ends done, eight three over there. The way that um, BCG team just did a chat with the local newspaper and they're asking if they had any teams who made finals yet. I said no, but you know, a 25% chance over there, or 50% chance even. Rod finding that same pack of bowls. No idea where Ali tries to get to here. Can't really make it any better. Holding good one. Maybe last bowls in for second. They're pretty well covered everywhere as well, aren't they? Except the back. That's what Kelly's saying. She's sort of saying, just in case something fluky happens, the only place we don't really have a bowl is here. Yeah, it's a pretty good option. Quiet morning, or quiet uh, morning here at Bendigo Ace. Got some women's champion, uh, champions last 16 joining the mixed purse final this afternoon. So Ali does indeed draw the furthest back. Rod Peterson will buy a raffle ticket and see what happens, I reckon, here.
this, I reckon. How do you go, Sammy? Well, that jack went spiralling out of the rink. And we'll replay that end. Good hit from Rob Peterson. Probably a couple down. You see how quick that jack come firing out of the head here. Straight oh, through the gap. Over. Kelly's. That's slow. Mo that slow mo stuff's fantastic, Brad. Good lead in again. Kelly McCarrot. Mc <laughs> there we go. Mm, that's what a good. start of the day. I'll be doing the presentation with this one then. Next door, no change on the score board. I reckon there's still an end to go on. Plus, there's a oh, bowl coming up of this end. This two and walk pairs is not a fast game of bowls, is it? I always seem to struggle co coming from a Vic Open into a state champs because I'm used to the three ball pairs and things mm. just move rapid. And then these two and walk pairs, which look, I completely get the complexity of the game. And and at this level, this is definitely the pr preferred format. But it is a long, old game. Used to be 18 ends as well, so. That's long. <laughs> Once you factor in even last night with a few dead ends. A couple of games going well in excess of three hours. What a shot this is. Shot. Great ball. Played it perfectly well. However, in the alley foresight, you can see a nice little jack trail down the line for three here. On his backhand. couple of good games in the Women's Champion Champs later as well. Mm. Any you're looking forward to more than others, Sam? Yeah, I don't know if I've got any looking forward to more than others. Well, well, he plays a completely different shot to what I thought. Taylor Marin up against Sophie Kurzman could be one to look out for. Instead trying to sit the ball, Ali, at the head. Brooke Edwards, Sammy Atkinson, both in action as well. Should be a few close games. Not terrible here. Just going to run the last little bit. Maybe that does change Oof. his hand now. Plays the same speed as his first time and gets this jack. He's going to make a pretty handsome number for him and Kel. Confirmer. All of it. All oh, yes. Wants all of it. Yeah, gets all fold. of it. And a rebound. <laughs> Great effort. Great shot. Completely changes the head. Still one down, but not better. He was going to sit on top of it if he didn't hey, get double ricochet. Bowl and jack. Stiff. Shot. Yeah, fair shot from Rod. That's another. Goes behind. Good work from him. A couple of singles. The way Gibbs then on the ring next door. Tots things back up slightly. PCG still lead 8 5 through 10s. Do you reckon Rod's a runner? Because he's wearing uh, some pretty handy ASIC shoes. You guys could be friends. Yeah, but they're, they're like the ones that the super athletes wear, the, the carbon fiber ones to increase time, uh, decrease times. So. Yeah, you're a super athlete. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> what have you entered? Some marathon? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm tempted to do a marathon this year. I'm gonna do a half in July, and I'm, there's one in October. I've never done a marathon, but I'm tempted to. 
I have to give up the beer though, and I don't know if that's <laughs> what my life's about right at the moment. Oh, it just needs to hang on. Yeah, great effort. Second shot for Kelp. Uh, made that look very, very easy. Great shot, makes a couple. Yeah, Cal asking this to hang on. You can sort of see why you might get a nice, friendly scoot off the front bowl, and that's exactly what she gets, and probably holds shot now. It is genius. Okay, let's get the same slide. Oh, almost did. Hey Viv, it's 8-5 over on that BCG game. They lead after eight ends. It's Gibbs land. Been live scored, so you can get end by end update if you want. Yes. Yeah, Stan, that's uh, an event organiser's nightmare. An 18 end game that ran for six hours. I have a distinct memory of a game going five hours in the, the state champs we ran at Warnable a few years ago in the COVID years. Yep. Yeah, oh, really? That wasn't that game. But oh, another long one. Yeah. Late night. <laughs> oh, mate, it went forever. I can't remember if it was Lee Schreiner and Brad Maron, but against someone else, but it went forever. Well, anything can happen here now. Mm. Just notches his own out. Still one to kill. Ali trying to work out what to play. He's I'll let him commentate it. Aiming for some coverage, as I'm sure you heard. <laughs> if you'd have got a gap there, you'd drawn another, I reckon. <laughs> Shaggy the head from Ali. Didn't get exactly what he wanted, so let's see what Rod can do here. He's needing to start make to make things happen. Result another in the way of Kelly and Alley. Pick up. <laughs> 
A single. Lead fifteen three. No one hands. Lead in pretty well. Good effort here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's to get down a little bit more in time. That's to a very good home. It's good. Very good home. <coughs> What's on the back of the Glen Waverley shirt, Sam? Is that on the back of the Glen Waverley shirt? Or the sword? Is it fire or is that tree branches or <laughs> it's budding be more flowers? It's got tree branches, doesn't it? Thorns? Ask Brad what he thinks. What do you reckon it's on the blue shirt? Waves? Yeah. Come on, Rod. Oh, makes the connection. Opens it up. Good stuff from Rod. And that bowl, first bowl of Chapez looks good now. Looks very good. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. No, wrong, wrong blue. <laughs> Rod and thought he probably done enough with his first open things up. Yeah, and then Ali. Try and do it again. <laughs> and Ali just went, hmm, fancy balancing one on top of the jack. <laughs> just gets a bit relentless when you've got players in form like this. He's just calling out Rod's played an absolute bomb with his first and then doesn't even get a chance to sort of reap his own good bowl with his next because Ali's already shut the door again. However, it is loaded to sort of go to where the bowls are from the oh, from the Glen Waverley Bowls Club in the Eastern Ranges region. What is it, Sam? Is it fire? Is it tree branches? I don't know, mate. All I know is it's the hardest hitting question <laughs> currently being asked at the Bendigo East Bowls Club. <laughs> it's a tree with like leaves budding on it. I just imagine the design meeting. Yeah, that looks good, but can you add <laughs> a tree with some branches and some buds <laughs> coming out? No, I have the answer. Doug Warlow, top man. Antlers. Shout out to Doug. Every good blow shirt needs an antler.
She got the journey here, Sam. She does. What a long ball. I'm almost showing off these. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit harsh. It's way too good. You get yours, it's good, but there it is there. That's your weight. I think you said before, it's just relentless stuff. Looks like Gibsland have won that end next door. They haven't updated the scoreboard, but... Oh, they've two as an umpire called. Getting uh, pretty close over there now. We think it's 8-7 after 9, in the way of the Achuka pairing from the Bendigo Baspi Goldfields region. It's looking like they'll be playing Ali and Kelly in that final. Oh, Doug Warlow's dropping absolute knowledge here. <laughs> What's it's he got based here? off the monarch of the Glen. for the second title at Ali and Kelly in this mixed pairs. They won it back in 2021. That'd be the... Second... Mm. Pairing that would win it twice if they did go, did go and win it. Jess Wallace and Josh Sanders winning it in 2019 and 2020. Enough weight to get up through the bowls and get in the, and then get a piece of the jack down the line as well. I think. Does the front pink count of Kelly's? Uh, three, maybe even four. Oh, she's on real big. Oh wow! Ultimate result. Mm, still holding? No, surely. Surely holding. One. Yeah. Big hit. Well done, Rob Peterson. And a measure for a second. Good hit from Rod. And he gets the single. 15 4 now. Two thirds of the game done. Oh, it's got to stop happening now for this rink from Eastern Rangers. 
Got to win pretty much every end from here, you would imagine, and pick a few numbers up along the way. Five ends to go, might not get them all in. If they don't start scoring numbers. Change in length. Almost T to T. Give or take a mat. Too fair. Lead bowls here. Champagne. Champagne, is that what we're saying? Yeah. That'll be Kelly's two loosest opening bowls for a little while. As long as I've been here anyway, so a little half chance for Rod to add a couple in here. Yeah, see, these are the moments now for them. They sort of have to absolutely maximise loose bowls. Rod, that's not the worst time. Splitting a couple of opposition bowls up and almost counting. But you feel Lally will be able to draw within that. <laughs> Doesn't just draw within that. Probably draws the shot more close to. Tree, but it's landed on Pedersen's back bowl. Yeah, there's five bowls in that same spot, really. So, Shot again. Still one, but a, oh. is it be a better one? Yeah, Slightly better I'm one? I'm not overly convinced they won before that. Let's see what Kelly can do in reply. It's wide. Mm. We'll just have the right speed to get another one thereabouts. Yeah, speed's all time for the shots she's trying to play. Sit on that <laughs> ball. Wide by a long way in the end. Why? 
would definitely force Kelly to tighten up now. Yeah, he gives a little bit of a guide. She'll go close there, I can almost guarantee it. Just put the muzz on it. Just needs to turn, Sammy. Turn and turn and turn. Oh. does Rod do here? There was a little bit of a chance that Rui Rowley's bowling out of their head, but I don't know that's made things any easier. It's harder to clip his shot bowl out now, Rod, so he can afford to probably play the foot or so weight and somehow try and get Ali's out. He's just trying to play backhand draw with his first. Yeah, I'm not convinced by that when they're chasing shots, to be honest, mate. I think they've got to start taking some risks. I mean, if he throws a couple in, it's two or three. I think you're better off drawing forehand and short counter. If that's what, if you're trying to just add another. If that was that short in that spot on the forehand, it applied a bomb then, which is why I think the forehand was the better option. Because that would have forced Ali to go quick. Well, half a chance, needs to hold on in time. Not over. <laughs> I thought that was, uh, that was a very, very nice angle. I thought he was getting the fine edge to walk down the line then. Yeah, Rod can still be positive here on the back end. So he's going through since the last time. And yeah, now I can see the back end shot. Interested. See how this time. No, he is. No, no, it's going. Just a tad too late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was interested for a long time then. Wasn't far away at all. Couple ends in a row the way of Eastern Rangers. 15 5 through 11. Things have tightened right back up next door as well, Jim. 8 7. After the ten. Sort of BCG.
He sort of knew Kelly was short. Again, grouping them pretty well, giving her and Rod opportunities is Champagne. See if Kelly can adjust that meter or so. Shot. This looks so good when a ball turns that much. It's just a good, pleasing sight. Rod have the trip. Yeah. Just on a tight line. Actually, he went way further than I thought that was going. It looked like it was stopping halfway down. Solomon falls back in. Be happy with that. Proves their position. Just the one as we kind of the back half of this end. Try and sit the shot bowl. Like you have to play it just a fraction. Oh, Gave it a chance though. So. Kelly's good here. Number one. What a shot this could be. Seems to stop. <laughs> Just rolled a couple of rolls. Too far. Cracking effort. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit careful here. Kelly needs to cover it out to the left-hand side. Yeah, she needs to get in them two, inside them two bowls now, of rods and champagnes. This has got the weight. 
It's where the jack will go if they trail it. There's a bit of danger for him here. If Rod can get the small trail, he make a three, goes with it. Probably also a shot some if he plays superb way where he sits Kells bowl and falls back to the jack and brings it left and back up the green slightly <laughs> for four. Not asking a lot. Think big, Sam. Be the bowl. Visualise. The good things will happen. If it happens, I literally it's going to be the best call of bowls ever. <laughs> I tell you what. Yeah, that was the wait for him. <laughs> I don't know about him celebrating the shot. I'd, yeah. be, on the, I'd be on the ground <laughs> celebrating my own call. Fist Thank pumping you. Everything. Chainsawing. And nearly got all the way back down to the pig. <laughs> Good wait for it. As soon as you get up past the sort of tees and half, uh, helping. Yeah, I'd, I'd force his rod to play the right weight for the jack to stick around. Which I think he was going to play anyway, to be honest. He's obviously looking probably at... probably play the right weight for the jack to hang around the first one, like yeah. you said. He's probably looking for that rock back jack up bowl. That's... Another big bowl in the context of this game. Like, if you can get this, it gives them a little bit more of a hope. Has to get it, though. Can't drop another one here. Yeah, they're going to run out of ends pretty soon. So things have to happen and have to happen right now. Still 8 7 after 10 next door, the way of BCG over Gibbsland. Good head over there at the moment. Mmm. Got the last bowl of that end coming down, and it's got a bit of. Pepper on it. Oh no. Oh wow. Absolute chaos over there. Short ball ruining ahead. Has Rod gone here? Just going to stick too wide, Sammy, with that speed. Yeah. Yeah. You heard what Ali was saying then. Try and make a three. Not with that. One. Another one. Three left to play, and they lead by 11, Sam. I'm going to check out what's going on the rink next door after you said running shot, missing, and then the short ball through the jack. Jack ends up in the ditch. Umpires are out again over there. Won the way of BCG, so they'll lead 9-7 after 11 ends over there. The other mixed pairs semi-final. Final coming up around about one o'clock. Of course, we'll be streaming that. Also got some women's champion of champions last 16 singles kicking off. Highly likely we'll need a third game today, which will be a second in that women's champion of champions. So, fingers crossed, get you some singles action on the stream later this afternoon. Do love a good singles game, Sammy. Are we marking? No. I think we're right. Pretty 
โอ้ยโอ้ยPompey, an absolute crack up. The second ball, that's what they need. They need three hits in a row and three handy multiples for any chance. Shots like that will help. Ronnie can add another couple in here with his first few bowls will make things a little bit interesting, but he hasn't sent it. <coughs> Don't know if he sent it again. Overplayed this, so a couple of loose ones from both the skips here. Nearly got a little touch back down on through. Just the one play of Eastern Rangers at the moment. Plenty of room to either draw a second shot or add another, add another one in. This one needs to hold, so... Chance, yeah, okay, line. Just got a stopping time here. Fell into the pack again. <laughs> Not a lot happening here on number 13. Let's get back inside into the count. It's a good wait. Stop in time for... Yep, definitely two. Make things half interesting. Pick up a... A four, maybe. So you feel like there's a bit too much room for Ali to draw another. Yeah. Okay, line for it. All down to speed. Shot here. All only. Thank you. No chance of a number now. And Snip said a thing. And he takes you right out. Just the ball. Falls in behind the jack. No way of getting the ball out. That's good. That's exactly what was needed. Yeah, a bit. Good, eh? That makes things very, very tricky for the 
the Eastern Rangers pit. Can I get under there? Tell you what, in response, it's a mile away. Oh, it's on to get a piece of the jack. Oh, I just had to draw weight. Oh, thereabouts. Trying to beat Rod's last one over the back end. Nothing to work off. To this pack again. Bit of a theme of the end. Morning Spence, hope you're doing well, pal. Another big day of bowls coming up. Next pairs final after lunch as well as women's champion of champions action. Kicking off. Better seven last ball of the end. Needs a piece of the jack down the line or sideways. Jams in. No idea who's got shot. Are they both touching? No score. Both resting touches. Complete set number 12. With a zero. And yeah, two ends to play. Score remains 16-5. Not sure. How do you put that in here? It's got the ends on. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? He just moved to four yeah, down. Yeah. Well, could you put a zero or not? No, it wouldn't go through. There. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway. Yeah, there's nothing to Remains an 11 shot lead. Going down. Yeah. They need to pick a three or more up. Otherwise, that is all she wrote for this one. It's probably as bad of a news. As you could possibly get for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really short of dropping. Jump eight. It's a great shot from Rod. I stood on the side and watched that one come in. Even opening to this end. Go. Oh, hell, and the crowd goes mild at Bendigo East, right next door. Alan from Yarram moving a jack. So. Morning, Spence. Yeah, I don't know about new talent, mate. She's been playing for about 18 years, he said to us this morning. Right shot from Ali. Won various club singles titles at I think Fairfield. Fairfield. She was up before Glen Waverley. Won that the Glen Waverley singles title this year. And run a uh, semi-finalist, I believe, in the region singles for Eastern Rangers as well. So definitely got some pedigree. First time I've seen her at a state championship, but she does not look out of place in one bit. Um, Rod are going to need to 
somehow find a three or more in this end and then a huge number in the last end. I to take a phone call. <laughs> uh, Half a chance for a couple. Just the Still one at the moment. plenty of poles left. He's just a title affair on the rink next door. Not much separating him. Low scoring game. BCG had 11-9 through 12 ends. Yeah, a fun finish over there. Let's drop in short. Kelp. Back to the pink. Ali asking for far back coverage from Cal, trying to draw to the T. The job doesn't draw the T, but it draws the furthest back, which is what they were sort of looking for. Champagne on here. Need to make a number. Trying to sit this pink bowl of cows and just slot their wide. Yeah, that's right, I did. Give it a chance. It's not the one in behind. I'd say that's helping. Just another one thereabouts. I'm not actually sure what it is. Kelly's back bowl was shot or they are holding a couple up the front. By the way, any turn out of that. Kelly McCarran bowl probably makes two or three. Need at least three, as we said at the beginning of the end. Be tricky to try and get the jack back through the hole. Is sort of playing for luck. If that's what you're going after. It's going to stick to the forehand just over the draw. Trying hard now. Just sit on something. Ugh, wow. Another one thereabouts. Don't think that second. I think my one beats it. Okay. I'm more concerned about what beats the front orange. Hmm. Good question. My pink, my other pink one beats the front orange. Sure. Right, that's all we need tonight. <laughs> that's so, the best. It's so it's matter of fact. Absolutely spot on. Twice as Rod good as he is, mate, and has been for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, well aware of what's happening. So if Rod 
turns Kelly's pink one to the left of screen. It still doesn't bring in the front one. It only makes, only makes a three. Kelly's one out to the right here over the line. Also beats the front left of Rods. It's just underneath. Rod's going to come and have a butchers and I think see what he can. think he can make any more than a three this end. Well, three gets us another end. Don't look so excited. To get there in time. Little turn of the pink. No, oh, misses the lot. That's just about the story of the game. Haven't been far away, but. Kelsey, I'll give you one. Rod's already shaking hands. Too good have been Ali and Kelly, and uh, they're going to be tough to beat in the final. 11 9 the way. BCG over there through 12. Join us at 1 o'clock for that final, roughly. Says it doesn't matter if it's 1 or 2. We'll shake hands on 1. 16-6 this one will be. We'll see you at 1pm for the Mixed Pairs final.